I've sent before a message on Skype about weight loss and you said, oh, I'm a weight loss guru now. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Sorry, sometimes I'm a bit cheeky to anyone that calls in. I never mean it personally. I just really love humour. And sometimes when you're the butt of the humour, it's not so funny. But, uh, yeah. Now my problem is that I use, I can't remember our talk and I can't even remember saying that, but... Um, so you have to talk to me like it's new. Now my problem is, is that I use food as something to complete me. And you said, there's nothing that can complete me. But again, in the moment, I'm searching for something and I feel bad for using food as a comfort and relief because not only I gain weight, but again, I feel guilty and all these things. It's like I can't control it. And for that, I feel bad. I feel my body heavy, my stomach heavy as well. And I can't relax in the moment. Is there any way I can replace food with something else comforting? Oh, that's sweet, Poppy saying that. Like, to stop this urge before it happens. My monkey mind goes everywhere and I want to feel lighter, calmer and love my body. Otherwise, being in this constant battle, body and mind, doesn't seem to cooperate. Thank you. Kisses. So, as you know, presume you're a woman, although that might be a prejudice but n normally it's women that have more issues with food. But it can be men, I apologise if I'm being prejudiced, but um, I presume you are. And, and maybe last time I told you that I used to suffer with an eating disorder. And I can't... The thing that I would recommend the most... So I just have to check that everything is working properly. Yes. The thing that I would recommend the most, and maybe I said this last time, is educate yourself about this. So, you know, I can do hours and hours and talk about what it is to be woman. But again, I'm not trained in this subject. It's just from my own demantling and understanding about what it is to be woman, the pressure it is to be a woman. Please, if you're a man, speak now. Um, and, you know, the way that the woman image has changed over the last hundred years... The effect of addiction, how by trying to diet or trying to not be obsessed with food, you make yourself more obsessed with food. Me telling you this and me speaking about non-duality, so me telling you that food's not going to bring you completion and speaking about non-duality, it's unlikely that it's going to remove that addictive energy that you have in yourself. Um, so what I would really recommend is is educating yourself and understanding that it's an addiction cycle that you've got into, understanding that addiction and going and getting support from outside. I'm, if you really wanted to, we could do sessions, but I'm sure that you could get that support um, from a group, uh, AA group, an addict, addiction group. You could look online for eating disorders or... Because it is a form of eating disorder, the addiction to food, overeating, anonymous, all these different um, groups. And the reason I suggest them is because if you do a session with me, you have to pay. Whereas all this stuff on the internet most probably is free. And I see that you're from somewhere in Eastern Europe or Russia. So it's most probably expensive. And you know, and I'm not really trained in it. Um, whereas all these organisations are, and this isn't going to bring you to freedom, what I'm suggesting now. What I'm talking about, the non-duality, is the ultimate freedom. But sometimes, for the body-mind mechanism from the person, you need to balance it out, otherwise you're going to make it ill, and then it'll be impossible to hear non-duality. So when I was um, going through my stepping off the addiction, now often we don't want to hear this because we think non-duality is way better and it's like the ultimate freedom. And when we hear something like addiction to food, we don't want to hear that because we want the better image or we feel ashamed of it. But there's nothing to be ashamed of. We live in such a screwed up society with so many bizarre conditionings and no wonder people get all these addictions. And so I went through so many different stages of understanding it and helping people, using people around me to help. So I had to report to them and tell them what I've been doing with food, because a lot of it was secrecy. Um, educating myself about what it was to be a woman and a woman's image. Um, I 
played I played with my image. I you know, I took off all my hair to see what it was like to be a woman that wasn't attractive to men. Um There was other reasons why I did that. I um and I just I kept like a, a not a diary but a mental diary of when I ate food and what it felt like and really seeing that it's only pleasure it never completes me eating food never I, I, it never got me to a place where I felt satisfied I just felt greed and wanted to put it in my mouth and then I felt bloated and uncomfortable so yeah I hope that helps